Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, my name is Chris. I'm so pleased you could stop by. I would love it if you would subscribe before you leave. Today is a haul. It's mainly Revolution and a few other bits thrown in. So if you'd like to see what I've got, please continue to watch. Last Friday, Revolution dropped a bombshell and they came out with a new Forever Flawless palette and also eight minis. Now I wasn't going to buy anything. I was umming and ahhing whether to buy another two palettes, which I will show you later. But when they dropped all these, I thought, oh, I've got to have them. Oh, I've just got no resolve whatsoever. I've got no money, but I've got no resolve at all. So this is where we're going to start. Um, I'm going to show you one Forever Flawless that I haven't shown you before. Uh, I haven't bought it this week, but I bought it a few weeks ago, but I haven't shown it you, which is the Flamingo one, which is this one. I won't be swatching them today because I'm going to uh, I'm gonna do a swatching video on Thursday, so if you would like to watch that, I'd love it if you would actually come and join me. Um, so the first one is not exactly new, but it's new to me, which is the Forever Flawless Flamingo palette. I haven't used this yet either, so you'll actually see it as I've got it as new. I've had a look, but this is what's in your palette. You've got 18 shades, and you've got that, whoops, you've got the uh, the mattes and shimmers. The mainly foils, if you were, rather than shimmers, they don't tend to do, do very many shimmers anymore. There's eight mattes and the rest are shimmers. With these, for every matte you get, you get a little flamingo. It's upside down at the moment because of the mirror. But for every matte shade, there's a little flamingo embossed into it. So that's the flamingo palette. It's the Affinity palette. I've took the stickers off it so I could get into it, but I haven't even opened it. Beautiful packaging. It's like the Utopia one. Yeah, that's the Allure. And this is the utopia i bet that i got them right makes a change so let's have a little look inside this seven matte shades and the rest are shimmers and glitters there we go look at those colors they're beautiful it's very very similar to a few that we've got already but you know I'm a sucker for one of the uh, sucker for the forever flawless range. Right, next onto these. Look at these. They're beautiful. I've got the green one on my eyes. It is very similar. Well, it's a complementary palette to the chilled palette, the green. The range, obviously, they are forever flawless, but the the small ones are called forever dynamic. And the green one is called Everlasting. If you've watched my video on Sunday, you would have seen me use it anyway. As you can see, I've used it. It is very similar to the Chill Palette, but not the same colours. I will say that because I've actually checked it. That's the best way I can do it. So you can see they're similar, but they're not the same. So the glitter is quite quite samey samey but that is that's the only real shade and it is slightly different is random this is the blue one and it's called tranquil beautiful casing Be great travel size as well so this is tranquil so I mean you've got You've got five mats in here out of eight so you can do everyone says oh you need you need loads of mats you need loads of mats and in fairness yes you do but i mean five is plenty so these aren't the same either so those are the two together they are similar granted um the next is let's just type the this red one this one's called dynasty or dynasty depending where you come from and it's the red red one 
this is gorgeous so you've got five mattes in here here again you've got two shimmers and a press glitter that may be like the fire one maybe so it is like a rose goldy colour and it's called eternal nice I like that so this one's got two mattes in one glitter and the rest are shimmers or foils whichever way they're going with them that's pretty the next one is a black one and it's called ebony oh crikey matte black and nice these are. i really do like these uh, oh wow this one's got five five mattes and three foils in that's pretty can you imagine that red and black together oh wow you know i've only got these for you lots well that's a bit of a lie ain't it <laughs> i have got them for me but i knew you'd want to see them the next one is called serenity and it's like um a matte beige type of oh that's gorgeous this one has got four mattes in one glitter and two of your foil humors that's pretty i love these i do like the um the little tasty palettes as well and funnily i should mention about that because i've got some of those as well the next is mesmerized which is the purple one Four mattes, one glitter, and three shimmers. That's pretty. I like that. Definitely. This is like a very light lilac. These, these here, one, two, three, four, those will go amazing together. Oh, yes. Yes, please. Right, and the last one of these little palettes is the pink colored one, and it, it's it's called ambient that's the packaging oh this is four mattes three sh two shimmers for maybe one foil and a press glitter that's pretty look how that goes as well i'm looking forward to playing with this as well that's really nice oh it don't take a lot to please me in fairness those are beautiful revolution absolute well done for that those are boston as we say in the black country next i've shown you the large palette i'm going on to the new tasty range now they have bought some bronzers out but i don't tend to buy a lot of bronzers i'll be perfectly honest highlighters bronzers contours and anything i don't i won't i don't sort of buy into it i've got enough <laughs> oh, look at me. I've got enough I have so um, I tend to just keep what I've got and just buy the eyeshadow palettes right these are those 3D um, cases again they're raised they look lovely they feel lovely so we've got the large one this is called the tasty latte or latte it all depends where you come from again or how you say it um, we have got the coffee one I will show you one, which is a sort of opposite way round come out which is that one so it is it is just the opposite way round right I haven't looked at this yet oh I have I've took a photo of it I'm telling lies I like it I like it a lot you've got a lot of shimmers but you've got quite a few mattes as well today that's pretty that's another nice autumn autumn palette I like autumn is my bet my favorite season it doesn't smell of coffee but very nice and your little one is just called the espresso so it is going to be dark you'd imagine mats mats and mats that's oops I'm breaking the box that 
is the little palette. That's nice. If I can see Neapolitan ice cream, I'm happy. The, they go together well, obviously, because you have got a lot of shimmers in this palette. So if you want to use them together, that that's how they're going to look. So they do complement each other. They're not the same shades. Let's get that ring light out of the way. They're not the same shades. They may be similar, but not the same. Very nice. Just have a look at the coffee together. The coffee is a lot more pinky. Let me just show you together. So the top one is the coffee. And the bottom is the latte. So they are sort of similar, but this one at the top is more pinky. This is Nude is the New Nude from Makeup Obsession. Now this is a six pound palette and so you've got 10 shades. Those are the colours in the Nude is the New Nude palette. So if you like a brown look, an autumn look, you're going to love this. Now, this is what started it all off. Two, not one, but two are the big palettes. Now, I wasn't going to buy them. My famous last words. Every, every week I say this. Every week. But, because, well, I wasn't going to buy them because I think they look similar to two palettes that I've got, which are more food, which are the same sort of size. But I'm going to show you. And we're actually going to have a look while we're at it. X, XX Revolution X-Ray Shadow Palette. There is 32 shades. No mirror. Because they're going for the sort of slimline look. And here she is. She's beautiful without a doubt absolutely stunning you can see why i bought this you can see why i got to buy it because if you know me you know purples pinks i absolutely love that is the x gen palette now these are 20 pounds when you think about you're paying six pound for 10 shades Work it out. I think it's worth it. The large palettes uh, from XX Revolution before I had those, so I thought I've got to have it. You've got these main, you've got these main ones across the middle again. I just thought I've got to have it. So they haven't got a half front. I didn't get any coupons off, no vouchers. I was gutted. But what I want to look at now is I want to see if it's the same as the Jacqueline Hill number two. Now to me, they're similar, but they're not. But it was sort of enough to say, well, do I want it, do I not? But I've got no resolve whatsoever. So I ended up saying, yes, I need it and I need it now. And this is the X-Gen palette. How oh, pretty. It is just, they could have edited it down in Teresa's famous last words. And yes, they probably could have because there is some very similar shades there. But I just want to show you what I think it's like. It probably is, in fairness. But well, I've got them both now, so I can stop moaning. So this, this is similar to the Such a Gem 39S palette which is that one so they are the samey samey they are different in one way but you know i'm trying to justify why i why i brought it and there's no justification at all but those are the two larger palettes from xx revolution and they are stunning I've waited for this one for quite a bit of time. If it hadn't have been so special to me, it wouldn't have mattered how long it, it took to come. But we have Robert's brushes. Now I'm going to show them you. They're really expensive. They're sold out, so you can't get them unless they do a restock, which he probably will do. But I just want to show them you because 
well, how beautiful. I've never I've never brought Sigma brushes before and now I don't know why because they are really good. Like I said, they're quite expensive and you know what, I'm a bit of a, a tight arse with my money. But I splashed out because I wanted to support Robert. It's a six piece set and all right let me just go through i'll show you this one first this is the f80 flat kabuki brush these are i feel beautiful really pretty really really i was gonna say pretty they would now really nice really soft but they're so heavy they're weighted uh looks like this is the the f80 flat kabuki very nice really nice and stiff as well because there's a lot of there's a, there's a lot of fibers there but they're super soft and the next one is this one and it is the spotlight duster it's a f37 and it's like a flame it's almost like a flame and again really nice put it the right way so that is what they look like really nice so then we've got four versatile brushes if you like this one is um is, this is from the new range this one is a um, a 4d hd precision as you can see it's like it's all pointed it's square but it's pointed so you can sort of get in to the corners really well very nice Like I said, they're heavy. I couldn't believe how heavy that was. And the next one is a 38 E38 diffused crease brush, which is your nice fluffy brush. I mean, if you've used Sigma before, there's quite a lot of you who do. Uh, you'll know what I mean. They really feel nice. With that, they're going to give me any extra skill. No, but it is nice to have some nice tools. Uh, this one is the E30, where are we? E34 and it's the domed utility. So you can use it as a pencil brush, you can use it as a crease brush. You sort of pack in and so that is that one. These are his own choice as well. He chose which ones he wanted to go in um, to his favourites. And it's also basically, he said, you can do a full face with these. And the last one is a medium sweeper. It's the E54, and it's like your almost like your cut crease brush. It's a flat brush, so you can pack on, and you can also sort of do your cut crease with that. So yeah, I'm really pleased with them. I'm scared to use them at the moment, but I'm going to have to. I'm, there's no way I'm paying sixty or seventy odd pound, and and not use them um i think it oh, let me just have a look how much it was paid 79 pound 46 then when they cut that was with taxes and everything well that was with with that and it was 20 pound delivery from america then when it come i paid another 20 21 pound 84 so I paid hundred pound for six brushes. <laughs> yeah, I need to get some skills to go with those brushes. I never realised how expensive they was. I mean, you know, it's not Robert's fault about the uh, the shipping or the um, the customs charge. It's just that's where Signa Signa are from. But I will be buying if I do buy any more Signa brushes. I'll buy them from Beauty Bay because. You don't get no charges there and they do some special offers too so you know double whammy guys that's the end of my haul today i really hope you've enjoyed it if you have don't forget to leave us a thumbs up that would be amazing and if you do like my channel and you haven't already please consider subscribing look after yourselves guys and take care of yourselves love you loud see you soon bye